somebody Even if you gotta leave somebody like a track which is really random but um i just dropped malaya off at daycare and now i'm going to run some intervals which really sucks but i really just want to get it done right now so that the rest of the day i can relax and breathe um and just have it easy i'm getting a work email because i generally start work in like 40 minutes uh it's a 30 minute run and i obviously live around the corner so it'll be really quick and easy hopefully Ooh, Lord have mercy. I am dying, honestly. Okay. My eyes are burning and I'm drenched in sweat. I'm pretty puffy too. It's crazy how your face changes after you run. Um, I'm bust. I just did my interval running. It was 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Um from a 7% or 70% speed to a 40% speed. So literally going pretty fast the entire time. Um, Cause your four is really like a jog, like still a, a paced jog. And then 70 is obviously like almost a sprint. So, and you can't stop, like there's no like rest period or anything. So I'm pretty tired and that lasted 21 minutes of sprint run sprint run basically so i'm pretty drenched i'm pretty tired i'm gonna go home wash my face quickly i won't have enough time to like take a whole body shower which is tragic but on my lunch break i'll go ahead and take a, a nice long shower um and that's usually during my lunch is when i prep dinner as well because i have a toddler so it's impossible to cook and prep when i'm with her anyways it was still a really good run I did about three kilometers in 20 minutes, so I'm happy with that. And yeah, that was rough though, but it was good. I'm impressed by myself. I thought I would stop. Um, my lungs did really, really well. My legs were pretty sore and I was feeling a little bit of pressure in my shin splints, um, but I'm happy. Like I feel accomplished and the day just started. So yeah, if anyone needs motivation to run or to exercise, Honestly, just do it or send me a message and I'll convince you to do it because I'm pretty disciplined when it comes to training. But yeah, just do it. You always feel better afterwards. You know you're contributing um, in a positive way to your health. And if you have children or people you care about, um, be intentional because life is short. Health is the only thing we literally have. And yeah, it's important. We don't want to be out here getting sick and all of that jazz so let me clean up my car head in and start work and i'll see you guys probably tomorrow i'm doing like i'm, I'm just vlogging like different days of the month and i'm gonna do like a whole combination whatever the word is look at my baby's bottle um i'm just gonna combine everything and it's just gonna be a mashup of various days so you guys can kind of see why it's hard for me to vlog and why my days all look so different so yeah, anyways, have a blessed day. Good morning, y'all. I just dropped off Malaya at daycare. And now I'm heading home. Um, I haven't picked up to vlog in a few days. Honestly, 
maybe in a few weeks but i am gonna vlog this weekend because well this friday because we're going to do a road trip with malaya um we're going down to syracuse new york um my cousin plays for stanford and he plays football for stanford and so we're gonna go watch his game he's playing in new york and obviously to go all the way down to california to watch him play is tough especially with a baby especially with our schedules work blah 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 money all the above um so we decided like let's drive this five hours and go watch him play i wish our whole family was coming that would have been so fun and um we've been to like a few of my cousins not him but his brother's games um all the way down in like south carolina we went one in atlanta um so this is his little brother and now we're gonna go see him play at home but my family hasn't been to like any games so it would have been nice if everyone could have come but again scheduling as an adult is actually crazy like everybody has a million things on their to-do list on their schedules like everyone has different jobs and with football in the states like they have to play like these huge stadiums and like they do the ta whole tailgate situation and it's just fun and i love that my cousin's parents like my aunt and uncle they're just like super into it and you don't often see that like i feel like a lot of kids especially black kids aren't really supported in like athletics with their parents and for different reasons financial um work like whatever but my my um aunt and uncle always make a point like they literally schedule out plan out whether it's saving whatever they have to do like they're going to their kids games even when it's out of state and i love that i can't wait to do that for malaya if she decides to play a sport that is kind of big like that um, and if we have a boy and he plays football, like I'm so excited to like go to all those games and just be that annoying parent in the stadium. But yeah, that's really it. Um, we're gonna leave at like, right now we're scheduled to leave at 7 a.m. We're gonna drop Mochi off at 6.30. And then, yeah, just kind of head down. <laughs> Honestly, picked up, um, but we're headed to New York, um, Syracuse specifically. It's about five and a half hours. It'll probably take us six because it's Friday. Um, we're leaving at like 6 37, so not as early as we wanted. What's up? What's up? I'm tired. She's really sleepy. She's ready to pass out, which is perfect. <laughs> She'll sleep like the first two hours of the ride. Hello, we're on the vlog. Say hi. <laughs> Just tell them who reminded you to vlog. Where are we? Syracuse. Syracuse. We arrived hours ago, but I didn't really vlog. But here we are. We are in the fun zone, and we're headed to the field now. Yep. Did not do this. Look right. at that man. That's so cool. You, you gotta go get this on funny thing. This is where you gotta be captured.